on the Little Western, it is always very busy during summertime. That is why the Fat Controller hires an engine from a colliery on the mainland called Bernard. When he first came to the island, Bernard had a bad attitude, like a lot of engines like him. But after an accident with some ballast trucks, he changed and reformed with the help of Oliver and Toad. Now, for many years, he had been helping out on the Little Western during the busy summer season. Bernard backed into shed one day. The duck wanted to speak. You know, it's just occurred to me, he said. You've been coming here for many years, and you've never told us about your quarry. We'd like to hear about it. Well, said Bernard, I've been coming all those years and you've never asked me. But, now that you've asked me, I'll let you into it. I would like to hear that, said Oliver with anticipation. Ah, dear cut away, said Douglas. But before we get to the quarry, I first worked in London on the heavy industries by the River Thames. I used to load up barges, lorries, horse and carts, you name it. It was very busy down there, very rough too. Some say that's where I got my attitude from, with all the rough hustle and bustle. There weren't much time for kindness down there. But many years later, I got transferred to a colliery in the Yorkshire Cowfields. The colliery was situated quite conveniently on the Woodhead Electric Railway, where they had just been electrified some years earlier. But there's also another line to the colliery, and we serve that too. But for many years, our main source of income was from the Woodhead line. But back then, we didn't have a nice attitude, as you saw when I first came. Come on! Come on, you electric box on wheels! We what attitude! And we were rude to the diesels on the other side of the colliery too. Come on! Get loaded up, you big oily thing! Who will be glad to see you scrapped? But when I changed, everyone was surprised. They didn't expect me to change so suddenly, but it took quite a long time for the other engines to follow suit. And then, the Woodhead engines began to appreciate us. And then the diesels did eventually, but it took a lot longer for them to warm up to us. For many years, the colliery ran well. But, Bernard paused and looked down at his buffers. But all good things must come to an end somehow, he said sadly. Um, what is that? asked Duck. A few years ago, said Bernard, the Woodhead line closed. And we have only one railway serving our colliery. This is the one for the diesels. I saw the tracks being ripped up before my very eyes. And also then, we weren't making so much money either because the coal industry was in general decline. We had to sell off engines to be scrapped or used for spare parts. Now there's only three of us left. And they reckon, said Bernard hesitantly, this keeps up. The quarry's gonna close in a year or two. Oh my, poor engine, thought Donald. But anyway, said Oliver, I'm sure if your quarry closes, then you can come here to work on this railway. That would be nice, said Bernard, but I'm not sure if the fat controller can afford to buy me. Well, I'm sure we can get him to buy. Bernard just smiled. Presently, the news spread down the shed about Bernard's colliery. Oh my, poor engine, said Richard. If his colliery closes, where will he go then? Will we be able to get the fat controller to buy him? I'm not sure, 
said Emily. The vacuum controller has many engines. Not sure he has space for another one. Rebecca thought differently. Hey, you. I'm sure the vacuum controller will buy him. Besides, he has a very nice engine. If you want to speak to the vacuum controller, then by all means, said Henry. But I don't think he's got room for someone like him. Especially not after his first visit. Hey, um, what happened then? Asked Richard. He had a bad attitude, said Henry. Rebecca was shocked. I always thought he was nice. Henry explained Bernard's initial bad attitude. Oh my! Do you think he deserves to stay if he had a bad attitude? Well, yes, said Rebecca. Well, he did need a second chance, replied Emily. Anyway, something must be done about the poor engine. We can't leave him rusting away in the scrapyard, said Richard. The next morning, Richard spoke to the fat controller. I say, sir, can you promise to buy him if his coilery closes? I can't make any promises, said the fat controller, but I'm sure we'll come to an arrangement somehow. Richard didn't feel convinced, and he puffed away. Then Rebecca tried. I've already had this discussion with Richard. Then again, we'll see how things play along. Rebecca was equally as worried. During the summer, Bernard tried to put on a brave face, but he couldn't help worrying about the colliery's future. Things have not been the same since the wooded line closed, he thought to himself. Doc noticed this too. The threat of his colliery closing is having quite an impact on him. I just hope things turn alright in the end. I hope so too, said Oliver, but he's putting on a brave face. But when Bernard returned back to the colliery, he found that there was less work for him to do. He was worried, like the other enemies of the Back on soda, Richard was also worried. Sir, has his colliery closed yet? Not yet, replied the fat controller. Uh, there's another thing, uh, sir. He said that his colliery was once served by the wood, wood, the wood, re, Woodford, uh, what was it? The wood headline. Oh yes, that was it. Yes, that has closed. Oh boy. What about the agents who work there? Have they all been scrapped? I did hear that the Finkerstown Railway Society was looking to preserve one of them, and I'm pretty sure that one of them is still remaining in the scrapyard. I will go and assist their cause at once. Rebecca overheard. Uh, sorry sir, but what's a woodhead engine? A fat controller explained about the woodhead line and how it used to transport coal from Sheffield to Manchester over the Pennines. I visited the Woodhead line a few times, said the fat controller. I even got a ride up the Wordsborough Bank. It is a very steep bank where the engines have to work hard to climb up, or at least it was. Meanwhile, back at the colliery, Bernard soon got the news he was dreading. Murder says that this quarry is going to be closing in three weeks. Oh no, said Bernard. There's been a sharp fall in demand for our coal, and we can't meet the profits. We've been running at a big loss ever since the Woodhead line closed. But, surely we can keep this colliery open. It's orders of the coal board, said his driver. Manager is preparing to close the colliery. But, said Bernard, can someone tell the fat controller? I don't want to be scrapped. The 
manager walked up. I know you've been working for the fat controller, Bernard, but he's got many engines on his line and he probably doesn't have room for more. So, I can't say if he's going to buy it. Bernard's heart sank. He went unhappily back to his shed. He was fearing for the future because his colliery didn't have much of a future left. The news reached Sodor within days. Oh my, said Richard sadly. Where's Bernard going to go after that? I don't know, said Rebecca. But I don't think the fat control has enough room for him, said Emily. Well, we must do something. I don't want it to be scrapped. He won't be, said Henry. He'll probably go to a preserved railway on the mainland. Well, why can't they bring him here? said Richard. The fat controller walked. All right now, settle down. I'm sure you've heard that Bernard's colliery is closing. Does that mean he'll be scrapped? asked Thomas. I've had a long and hard think about it. And I think that Little Western will benefit greatly if Bernard becomes a full-time member of my railway. Richard was pleased. Oh, thank you, sir! And, uh, what about that wood bridge, wood, uh... Woodhead engine? Oh, yes, that was it! The Woodhead engine has been saved and is now preserved at the Vicarstown Railway Museum. He is now called Walter by the staff. And Richard... Yes, sir? I want you to go and collect Walter from Vicarstown and take him up to the Little Western so he can be there for when Bernard arrives. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Well, not so fast, said the Fat Controller. You'll be doing it tomorrow morning. Richard felt excited. Rebecca was relieved to hear that Bernard would be coming to the Fat Controller's railway. The news soon reached the Little Western. I can't say how happy I am, said Duck. Bernard's going to be a permanent member of the Little Western crew said Douglas excitedly. I can't wait to work with Mr. Bernard, said Toad. Well, you did help him reform his attitude, said Oliver. The next day, Bernard crossed the Vicarstown Bridge knowing that he'll be soon at his new home. Goodness, the fat controller's bought me, he said with a relief. But what he didn't know, there was a surprise waiting for him at Arlesborough West. All the engines were waiting for him. And soon they heard that whistle. It's Bernard, said Duck excitedly. I, I think it is, said Richard. And Bernard pulled into a chorus of whistles and cheers. Even the small engines were cheering on Bernard. Ah, it's good to be at home at last, said Bernard happily. I know, said Oliver. Me and Toad never thought of the day that you'd become a permanent member of the Little Western crew. That's right, said Doc. And uh, Richard here has a surprise for you. What surprise? Richard moved away to reveal... Oh my! It's a Woodhead engine! Hey up, me name's Walter, and I think I remember you, Bernard. I can't believe it! I, I thought you were all scrapped! Well, our last one's standing at Scrapyard, said Walter. But the Vicarstown Railway Museum had purchased me. I can't believe it! I'm home at last, and I got a surprise of the Woodhead engine beside me. Uh, hey, oh, this is just like old days, said Walter. But there's no electric wires. Indeed not, said Duck. That's why Richard bought him here. And he's safe too, said Richard. And we're staying here for today. Then I'll be going back to the railway museum. Bernard felt pleased. He had a new home and he had met an old friend. 
things turned out well for him in the end. And now he works happily on the Little Western and the Fat Controller's Railway. <laughs>